think there was definitely a faster way, but we got it done. And now for the really interesting moment, let's jump over to this position. Now, uh, remember what I said, king and two knights against the king is a draw. So if I allow Stockfish to trade for any of these knights, then it's just going to be a draw. What's up, guys? So Ruben asked the question, is it possible to checkmate with three knights? Now, the, the answer is yes, it is. First of all, a king in just two knights against a king, you can't force a checkmate unless your opponent voluntarily kind of just runs into the corner for you. If they do that, then you can checkmate. But if they kind of run to the center of the board and just try to bounce around the center, you can't actually force them to a corner with only two knights. But with three knights, you can. And so what I'm going to do in this video is play against Stockfish. I've given Stockfish nothing but a king. I have the three knights, and I'm going to show you the process for checkmating. And then, to make it a little more interesting, I'm going to jump over to this position where I give Stockfish an extra bishop, which, to my knowledge, should still be a win, but I imagine it's going to be much more difficult with the three knights against the bishop, primarily because if the bishop can ever trade for one of the knights... Well, then we're back into that scenario where I can't win. And so I have to somehow checkmate the king without ever allowing the bishop to trade for the knight. So that'll be interesting. But first, let's go ahead and start with the basic version here where, where Stockfish only has the king. So I've set Stockfish to the max level. It's my turn and I'm going to start playing. So the first thing I'm going to do is activate my king and bring it forward. And once I kind of centralize my king, then I'll start using the knights. Interesting, I thought Stockfish was going to make a run up, but they did not. So, all right, now I think my king's in a pretty nice position. Let's go ahead and bring the knights forward. And one of the things you'll notice whenever you have the knights next to each other, they kind of do a nice job of creating this sort of weird box type of thing that the, the king can't cross over. Now, it looks like he's trying to escape here. So what I'm going to do is play check, which is going to force uh, you can see it's going to force the king to go backwards somewhere. So I think this is why it's it's fairly easy with the three knights. You can just kind of keep doing this. So let's see. The king's there. I want to try to take away this square. So let's move this knight forward to take away that one. And so I've got all of these covered. And so you can see how I'm just slowly forcing the king backwards. So let's go check. Actually, maybe I should have taken away that square. Yeah, in hindsight, probably could have played a better move there. But I think it's fine. We'll just use the king. All right, so let's go check here. Now I'll use the king because I already have this one taken over with the knight. I'll stop this. This is controlled and this is controlled. Oh, is that a stalemate? Ooh, that would have been a big... A big blunder because the king has nowhere to move. Just saw that. Just saw that guy. So it is a little bit tricky because you do have to avoid the stalemate. So let's try to swing the king over here. We'll leave this square for the king. Let me see. I don't really want to let it escape here, but I have to defend my knight. All right, so... Let's do this. I realize I just wasted a move. It didn't make any progress, but that's okay. Let's think about this. Let's go back here. So we'll take away this square this way. And we still leave the king some options. Okay, that's that looks better. Now let's come up with the king. Okay. This looks good because we have them on the edge of the board. I just want to make sure that he doesn't escape over here like this. Looks like I can do this knight and then this knight to keep him boxed in. So I'm going to play king up here. I think I see a way to prevent the king from getting off the back. Okay, so I'm going to use this knight to shut down this square. And then I just need to control this one with this guy. King's not going to be able to leave the back. Again, though, I have to be careful that I don't stalemate, right? Which is what Stockfish is trying to do. So let's, because right now, if I like, if I move this knight, it's a stalemate. So let's move this one over here. We'll relocate it back here, which I think is what we want. Okay, that's fine. So he's going to go this way now. I'm taking away this one. Let's position. Let's see. 
position this one here, get a little bit closer. Put my king here, because if he runs back this way, I can follow it up with the check or this check. Okay, fine. So, question is, should I king there? Do I have a way to stop this move? I do. Although I'm not super concerned if the king goes there. So let's just go ahead and bring this knight back so that I can come in this way. All right, that's fine. I can prevent the king from going that way. I think we're getting really close now. Let's see. So there's two options that the king has. This one we can shut down right away. And then we basically have the king trapped in this, in these three squares. Yeah, that looks really good. So now the king has to just go here and here. All right, awesome. So now we can just think about how to set up the knights for the checkmate. Probably. Let me reposition this one. I think that's going to be more beneficial. It still keeps the king trapped, but I just relocated it so it can help deliver the checkmate better. And now we can bring this guy forward. And there should be mate here. I just have to do it without getting stalemate. So how do we do that? Check. Basically, I need to make sure that it's check, right? So what if I play king here, king here? Maybe that's simpler. Okay. So if I play knight here, king here, yeah, that's checkmate. There we go. All right. That was actually a little bit more tricky than I realized just because of all the stalemate tricks. But here we go. You can see we've got the corner covered with this knight. We've got this square covered with this knight. Our king covers all of these. And so now we can just deliver either one of these would be fine. I'll just go for the, the triple knights like that. All right, cool. So we beat Stockfish. It took 30 moves which I think I messed it up somewhere along the way. I think there was definitely a faster way, but we got it done. And now for the really interesting moment, let's jump over to this position. Now, uh, remember what I said, king and two knights against the king is a draw. So if I allow Stockfish to trade for any of these knights, then it's just going to be a draw. So uh, let's see if we can do this. Here we go. I'm going to start by putting all my knights... I want all my knights to be, yeah, let's put all my knights on the dark squares just so I can, don't have to th really think about anything there. I know that the bishop's not going to be able to capture any of them. And now I will bring my king forward. I'll bring it forward on the dark squares just because, again, I don't have to really think about anything. Okay. Let's, I don't know, let's go check. He can't come up because there's a fork. That looks like a good idea. Let's keep the king on the dark square. I just don't want to get pinned. Yeah, see, I don't want to get pinned. That's not a problem. And of course, can't trade. So I'll go here. I will... I can't go here, here. So let's bring it up this way. This is really difficult because you can never go where the bishop is. You can never go where the bishop's covering. Let's come over here, jump to one of these squares, maybe. Tempting to just trade, but I know I can't because it's going to be a draw. Let's go here. I'm giving myself two options to come in and check the king. Now, if I go there and there and there, then there's going to be this, which is no good for me. So I can't do that. Hmm. But what do I play here? How do I make progress? That's the question. Let's let's move this back because I want to try to use that square for my king. Of course, he's not going to let that happen. If I go there, it's too many knights on the light squares, I think. No, I can, I can have time. I'll have time to move one. Okay, move this one. 
Hmm, here or here? I guess this. And we attack the bishop at the same time. Okay, we gotta move this guy. For sure. To here. Threatening to come here with check. Oh, and he can't stop that. Okay, he can do that. Alright, let's go here. Now, how do I push the king back? Can't go there. Up here doesn't help me. Alright, I'm giving myself two options. He took away that one. I can go here. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. Okay, there. I think that's progress. I think that's progress. We got him on the seventh rank. All right, let's go here to take away this. Let's try to push the king this way. We have two options. Let's go with this one. Okay, so we pushed him back a little bit. Let's bring this knight in. Trying to keep getting closer and force the king over here. All right, so we got to move this guy. Let's go check. Let's go check. I'm keeping them together because they really just kind of help each other a lot. You can see how they're just like controlling everything this way. All right. Yeah, this looks really good, right? Really good. Do I go ahead and do that now? Is the king going to escape is the question. Maybe it is. So maybe I have to watch out for this too. That's a big threat. Okay. Let's go here. No, but. Hmm. I don't know what to do here, actually. Check. The king goes here. Check. It's going to escape. All right. Let's. I really don't want to let it escape this way. So let's go. No, I can't do that. Wait a minute. Can I go here? Check. And still save my my knights? I think I can. Let's try it. I bet he's going to go there. Yeah, but I have this check, which forces the king to move somewhere that I can check it again. Ooh. Check. It's so close. Can't take it though, or it's a draw. Can't take it. All right, all right, let's, mm. let's go here. I see what Stockfish is trying to do. If I move the knight, he takes this one. I want to take here. I can't take this, so I have to. Only move would be to throw in a check. Here? Did I already mess this up? Check here. Oh no. I can't solve this problem, right? He's just going to do the same thing. Amazing. Wow, stockfish. All right, let's see. Should I turn on the table base? See if it's actually a draw. Let's see. I guess it's a draw. I mean, I, I suspect that it was going to be difficult. Let's go to the analysis board. I think this is already messed up at this point. Let's turn on the table base. And let's see. Yeah, it's a draw. Yep. So I somehow messed it up by allowing this setup where the bishop is attacking the knight, which is the only piece that's defending this knight. And 
I can't. Basically, this knight is just gone because I have to move this to avoid the trade, but then I lose my knight. If I try to defend it like this, the bishop is covering it and throwing in these random checks that don't really help me. So uh, that's too bad. And let's go back to the starting position and see how many moves should I have been able to win in. All right, so back at the start, you can see the table base over there is showing it is a win. Uh, 54 moves. I believe these are half moves. Number of half moves. Yeah, so I guess that's actually like 20, what is that, 27 moves, if I can do math. So let's just see what the winning line was. King to c2, check. King to c3, bishop d1. Okay, you bring the knight up. I just want to see like towards the end when you get to... Interesting that black's not moving the king forward this time, but whatever. Now, okay. Go f5, knight to g5. So keeping the knights separated is one thing. Backs the bishop. Now centralizes it. I'm just curious if there's any like idea or pattern that I'm going to be able to pick up on. Probably not. Okay, so all the knights clumped together. The bishop hasn't really had a chance to do anything. Lots of checks. I'm noticing that there's lots of checks. I wonder if that's like an important part of it. Notice how like almost all of those moves were checks. This one's not. But there's only one knight on a white square. King is still kind of stuck by the knights. This one's not a check. Wow, look at that. Interesting. You get him on the edge of the board. You line up all the knights in front of the king, which control everything. Make this line. Huh. And let's keep going. 83. See, this is the kind of move that... Why are you doing that? I guess because you want to come in here. Hmm. The king tries to escape. Look at these patterns with the knights. Fascinating. You have the knights, you have everything in a row, and you have it like this. Really interesting, in my opinion. Ooh, another move. Like, so weird. Huh. And I don't, like, I don't get it because all the dark squares are just available to the king. But then as soon as you make this one move, you take away everything. Oh, wow. You guys see the idea? The bishop is trapped. The bishop is trapped by the knights. Oh, man. I had no, like, I had no idea that that's what was happening. I thought it was something about the king, but it was it was about the bishop. Stockfish is so clever. Look at that. That's amazing. So I wonder if now that I see the idea, if I go back here, can I start to see some pattern of something? Attacks the bishop. Attacks the bishop. Attacks the bishop. Here, I don't know. I guess it's... So you're going for the king, but also... You're limiting where the bishop can move to when you put all your knights on dark squares, right? Like, you're controlling so many different light squares. That's what I'm noticing. See that? Like, you kind of are taking away the board from the bishop. Look at that. All of those squares are, are covered. So, like, where's the bishop going to go to? I mean, there's a few empty squares, right? But not many interesting so as we keep going that's what was happening here it almost looked like you were going to go for checkmate but it was mostly just maneuvering so you oh i see i see so at this point let's see let's sorry let's just go back right right here at this point sockfish is like okay bishop is almost trapped can't go here can't go here let's see what i can do with my knights to keep it trapped i guess is the idea at the same time, you're kind of threatening the king and, and checkmating it. But really, this is what Stockfish was interested in. Look at this. Rolling these. Although there's these over here, which I don't quite understand. But 
And then eventually, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we see the idea. Look at that. That's why you had to do this. It's all coming together. Oof. Okay, Stockfish. Well done. Well done. I mean, look at that. And there was nothing... There was nothing for the, the bishop to do. It just was stuck. Well, now you know. Next time you find yourself in a game with three knights against a bishop and a king, you know what the winning technique is. So, aren't you glad you watched this video all the way to the end? Um, if you guys have any more interesting questions like this or ideas that you would like for me to play against Stockfish and kind of analyze, let me know in the comments. I think this was kind of fun. Uh, honestly, not sure how useful, but hey, it was fun trying to beat Stockfish and failing. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp, play smart, take care.